2.0 has dropped two days early. That's pretty serendipitous and almost angelic. And Captain is chillin' like a villain. He ain't no angel, but he does have some mysterious surprises. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Wars. This is a guide on Captain and his many mysteries. His islands hold so many surprises. You do not want to miss this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you're enjoying most in 2.0. Hit that like button if you're excited that Animal Crossing has just turned over. A whole new leaf. They don't. Anyways, Captain arrives on your island as soon as update 2.0 drops. He will be here ready to go at your dock. You don't have to do anything, no quest like for Brewster, which I do have a video up if you want to see how to get the roost fast and furiously. It's worth it. Now, Captain is a wonderful critter who will sing and be ready to go. It costs 1,000 miles to take a tour, and it seems like he only provides one tour per day. So, Captain is going to require a lot of uh, time traveling and manipulation if you are to use him a lot. Now, Isabel has made note that these islands house many mysteries, and it seems like they really, really do. So we are going to drive our way to a mystery island and see new little logo there. And Captain will sing these sea shanties, which I'll let you hear the first one, but then I'll show you how to skip it. All right, so if you're sick of Captain singing about frogs, which how could you ever be? This dude's the best. You can mash B and he'll skip it. Y'all be an impatient lobster. It'd be a ways yet for the island. All right, you, you just whatever. You can press A on your controller to clap and you can mash B to skip. That's the way that this works. And you'll arrive at a mysterious island housing many new features. Now, Captain functions a lot like when you come to a mystery island from Dodo Airlines. He can provide tools and he can take you home but he will let you know if something special looks amiss like vines. Now, vines are here and you can climb them up and you can grab them and take them home. So Captain kind of provides a little bit of advice. I mean, I'm gonna provide some advice as well, but hey, I ain't nothing compared to this dude with that amazing shell. I feel shell shocked by this and away we go. So right now I'm seeing a lot of coconuts, but we will have to check out another mystery island. The most important thing though is watch this. You can climb these vines with an awesome new animation and it's perfect that we started here because I believe this is the mystery island that they showed in the direct, right? We've got our weeds here and I'll pick these up so you can see what these are. A lot of special things on your Captain Islands. Glowing moss, which is something very nice that you can plant around your island. Now, you can pick these up and take them home with you, and I recommend doing just that. The vines are very interesting as well. You can grab them with wine, and then they will function uh, very similar to a ladder, except they can only hang on cliffs. So you'll hang them on a cliff, and you'll press A to climb back up. So it's a special cliff device. I don't know that this can work in every situation, um, and I don't believe that you're able to wheel it. Let me see real fast if we can. I'm gonna kind of try this out live with you. If I can register, and you cannot. So you cannot register a vine, so it doesn't have as much functionality as uh, a normal ladder, but it's a heck of a lot cuter and will fit a lot of interesting island themes. Now, I highly recommend checking out these islands and investigating because they are home to a lot of new DIYs. And if you grab the messages in the bottles, those are the best way to find these DIYs. Isabel herself lets you know that there's a lot of new recipes to be found on Captain's Islands, so this is a major focus each time you travel. I got a glowing moss jar, which is a brand new item. Earlier, I got a honeycomb wall, and these recipes are really, really cool. So you can see I have my upgraded cooking DIY menu, uh, but I do also have some interesting things here. Um, the kitchen is obviously for the cooking, but this glowing moss jar is something that I got new from Cap'n. I also have some interesting things that they've provided in terms of some basic cooking recipes, and you can, of course, find the rest. Now, one thing that's really interesting about the vines, and I'll show you right here, is if you're holding something, um, like let's say I'm holding, uh, let's, let's hold this shovel. You go up to the vine, you can climb with the tool. So that is really convenient and does not require you to put away your tool. So that's a really big perk of the vines. Now on Cabin's Island is where you'll find a lot of gyroid fragments and you're gonna wanna dig those up and eventually replant them on your island to convert into gyroids. Um, you can grab a bunch of the moss as you can see. You can grab and dig, you can mess with the vines, you can get as many vines as you need. Um, but once you're done with the, the island, it's a-okay to go home. Um, I do believe that the fish are the exact same. There won't be any unique fish on these islands. And I do believe uh, that 
a lot of the features will stay the same. One thing you're gonna wanna really pay attention to though is anything that you can dig up, any of the recipes that you can find. In fact, Cap'n Islands would be a great way to uncover new recipes and, and get them fast. I kind of absolutely 100% think you need to take a Cap'n tour every day, especially early on in 2.0 to acquire as much as you possibly can. Now, I'm not gonna put you through uh, all the waiting. We're gonna immediately time travel to another Cap'n Island so I can show you something else super awesome that they have here. Fun trick for you guys, A is to clap, right? B is to skip, but you can also use X and Y. X is to laugh and Y is to be shocked. I'm not sure if there's a way to put other reactions onto the boat, but I think right now it is just going to be those four. You got clap, you got skip, you got shocked, and you got laughing. You can be kind of shocked at Captain's words or you can laugh your way through his shanties or you can make him kind of upset and uh, you know, skip around, but hey, sometimes you gotta get to the Mystery Island so something new can be found. And as you can see, what's really cool is that the time of year can be different. Now, we are actually currently in this season right now, the wonderful uh, season of mushrooms, which is awesome, but you're gonna get a bunch of different mushrooms and stuff. And if we weren't in November, uh, this would be a really special island because it would be allowing us to grab things without having to time travel, and that's very nifty and nice. Now again, when you get to these islands, you want to hunt for a few things. You want to hunt for a message in a bottle to see if you can grab a DIY. And there is one here. Let's see if this is going to be a new DIY or an old. All right. Let's see. It is going to be a traditional balancing toy. And then from there, we are going to uh, see if there's a gyroid spot. You got acorns, it's just really fun to see all the different things that Cap'n hides on these different islands. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Now, obviously oranges have been here before, um, but it's nice to see that you can, of course, get fruit on these islands as well. And again, you wanna really go to dig up those gyroids because the fragments are what's gonna create a cool cornucopia of musical wonder uh, once you arrive. All right, so. Down we go. Um, it does seem like I've now got three DIYs on islands. Two of them have been old, one has been new. Um, so you're going to want to really hit these mystery islands hard uh, if you want to find all the different features and all the different DIY. Um, and it's pretty cool. There also will be some different nook mile things for visiting these islands, I believe. Let's see, there's new ones. Let's see. Um, nice to meet you, Gyroid. That's obviously one you can get. Um, there's a Gyroid Getter. Uh, let's see if there's one directly for Cap'n or not. Um, but there's a lot of different Nook Miles that you're gonna really like and really appreciate. Let's see, does Cap'n have one for visiting a number of Cap'n? Yeah, here we go. Set sail for adventure. Um, and this will fill up as you become a sun-kissed boater. All right, so new achievements are something really awesome in here. Really appreciate that. I'm not the best achievement hunter, but I do like that they've added new ones. And let's, uh, let's, let's not end on two. Let's do a third Mystery Island to make this video even sweeter. We've arrived on another Cap'n Island this time. The island looks to be very, very full of lush life. We've got an interesting shape here. Um, there have been a lot of different shapes these mysterious islands, and you can find new bushes. Uh, you can find a lot of new things, including sugarcane. Um, I have not yet found sugarcane, but I promise you that you can find sugarcane. Um, and this island is obviously not in the fall like I'm at. This island is in a different season. So they do allow you to access all sorts of things that you can't normally access. Let's see if we can find a new DIY based on this. This one is going to be a shell wreath, which I uh, already know. So again, we're now one for, I'm, well now I'm one for four, but in this video we are one for three of finding new recipes on these islands. So they are gonna be hard to come by, but they are incredibly cool. Uh, very, very nifty, and I think Cap'n is gonna become one of your new favorite daily routines. It's so cool that he's here and you don't have to really do anything to get him. Um, I don't know how you feel about Cap'n having one per day limit, or if you think that's like good to extend the game and make it a daily or if you think it's something that they should not have limited and should allow you to partake in on the regular. I'd love to know your feedback in the comments, how you feel about this. Um, thus far, I don't believe there's any new fruit. Like I said, sugarcane and gyroids are kind of the big findables on these islands, um, as well as the vines and the glowing moss that you saw. But it does not seem like there is any lemons or bananas or anything yet. If I find anything new, I will update you 
But that is a bit about Cap'n, and I think he's a fantastic addition to the game. Now, there's obviously plenty more to explore with Brewster, and plenty more to explore with Harv, and all of those awesome things. Uh, it's pretty darn cool. So, this has been your journey with this amazing green egghead. I love him a lot, and I hope you guys do as well. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button if you had fun with me today. I appreciate all of you. I hope you're all staying safe, staying healthy, staying happy, and staying positive out there. In the meantime, though, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. You guys are all family, and this 2.0 early has been so darn fun. Stock up on your miles, visit Captain every day, and go find magic. Till then, though, everybody, Switch Force, out.